Okay, uh, so now we we had the mittens already made. So uh, the step now is to make the flap. Um, so from uh, row number row number sixty one, we have. Uh, split the stitches and these stitches are whole from row number 61 from the pattern um, so now to uh, knit the flap we will uh, use this uh, needle uh, and then start from here so as you can see that the stitches are in this circular needle i will just use this needle and cast on 24 stitches So with the long tail method of cast on, we will cast on 24 stitches. I will just count how long I need the yarn to be. Okay, I will need about the length of this. So you can just wrap the amount of stitches you require and that should be the length you would require when you cast on the long tail stitches. So I will cast on 24 stitches now on this needle. Okay, so now you have the cast on 24 stitches you have and you have the 23 stitches which uh, 24 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay another 24 stitches which are which were hold uh, from the uh, split stitches which we did in round number 61 so now we will use this new cast on to make a round for the flap so just this is pretty easy so we will just start knitting to make this as a round okay so you have to use this just pull the needle and then start knitting so this will make a you know circular work for your uh, mitten flap so now I will start knitting simply I will knit 24 one Seventeen, 
24 okay and then the next one we will do a ribbon in this this will be a little tight because this is just we cast on but don't worry this will be fine now after some time after knitting the first row tight so that there is not a loose gap there knit one pearl one so this entire 26 new cast on we did we will do a ribbing of knit one pearl one okay we will come back once we are done with this so now we have completed knitting the first round so the next round just follow the uh, instructions from the pattern so that you can complete the entire mitten 